what's up YouTube, this is Ruben GT303 and this is going to be a short review on the SOG, SOGzilla. This is the large model that has a half serrated blade. Um, I'll give you a little background information on SOG. Uh, they were founded in 1986 by Spencer Fraser. Spencer Fraser, sorry about that. Uh, in his apartment, uh, they started off by making copies of the Special Operations Group's fixed blade knives from Vietnam. Um, and that's actually what SOG stands for, Special Operations Groups. Uh, since then, they've made several, you know, folded and flicks, or fixed and, um, let's see, um, assisted opening knives, and they've won several awards for having great designs. One of my favorite knives that I carry still to the day is a, um, the Sog Trident, which I, it's a knife that I love, but, um, alright, let me get on with this, <laughs> this uh, review. I picked this knife up for twenty nine ninety nine plus tax at Bax Pro Shop, which, um, I wouldn't necessarily say that's a good price. That's about what they go for. I believe on their website they're listed at fifty dollars, which everywhere I've seen them they're mid twenties to thirty dollars. So I had a um, Bass Pro Shops fifty dollar gift card, so I bought this and another knife um, that day just because uh, I didn't really need anything else from there. I probably should have bought ammo. That'd have been nice. But all right, back onto the subject. All right, um, I'll get to the specs on this knife. It has a 3.8 inch blade. I'm gonna pop that out of there. 3.8 inch uh, blade made out of 8 chromium, 13 molybdenum, 1 vanadium steel. That uh, that's written out like 8 big C little R, 13 big M little O big V, uh, which is a very good steel. It's actually um, like compared directly to AUS8 steel. It's supposed to be an equivalent to that, uh, but a Chinese or American equivalent to that Japanese AUS8 steel. Um, overall, it is 8.54 inches long, so about 8.5 inches, and weighs in at 4.8 ounces, so it is a little heavy for its size, um, I mean, in comparison to, say, this knife, the Spider Spiderco uh, Metal Arc uh, Bird, weighs in at, what was this, 27, this is the FRN model. <clears throat> Alright, so let's get into some features of this knife. Once again, that nearly uh, four eight four that nearly four inch uh, eight chromium thirteen molybdenum one vanadium um, blade. Um, let's see, it's half serrated and half plain edge, and it has a what I think is basically a direct copy of the uh, spider hole. I mean, if you look at that and that, tell me that's not you know somewhat of a copy. I think it's actually somewhat of a upgrade. That little separation the steel right there grabs in your thumb perfectly. I mean, every time. I mean, every once in a while, I get a little slip on the spider hole. Let's see. Let me grab a couple more. Just grab. Oh, that's another. And oh, what a spider goes back there. Oh, never mind. That one's actually kind of big, so that works out pretty fine. It looks like it's nice and beveled, so I don't know. But on a couple of my spider cone knives, I do get a little bit of slip every once in a while when I'm trying to open up with that spider hole. And I think that is just a little bit of an upgrade. Um, I've actually grown a little fond of the uh, bird hole also, which is the comet shaped spider hole. Um, on to the next uh, little part. Um, Alright, so there's um, the thumb groove in the back, and it's nice and jimped. There's uh, jim being a real nice texture uh, cut into the, the steel back here. And that gives you a great grip when you're trying to cut into something. Um, let's see. Really good ergonomic handle. Um, that's another thing I'm kind of going to compare this to on the Metal Arc. This is the FRN model, so this is the um, fiberglass reinforced uh, nylon. On SOG's website, they call this uh, GRN, which I'm going to assume is same thing like glass or fiberglass reinforced nylon also. Even though, uh, uh, here they called it Zytel, which Zytel is a much more known name for the real impact resistant fiberglass uh, reinforced nylon. I don't know why they just didn't say that on the website. Um, what else? Oh, there's a there's a lanyard hole back here, which is a, a pretty okay design. I think this is gonna get in the hole and the hole in the way if you're uh, trying to put a lanyard on there. So um, if you're gonna do that that type of um, 
uh, pocket clip, you should have had it um, more off to the side or down further, like, once again, uh, that's not a good example, like Spyderco did on that one right there, so, just my opinion on that, let's see, uh, it is a lockback design, so, the, um, locking lever is right there, and I like how they, um, actually textured that too, they put some, uh, grooves in that and that grabs on your thumb real nicely or whatever finger you use to lock that or lock that I'm sorry unlock that um let's see alright the pocket clip I know what I just said about it being kind of an odd design maybe they should change it but I love most SOG pocket clips because they cover the entire knife all you'll see on the side of your pocket is this hell oh, that could be a pen so it's not going to show half your knife um, like a lot of other designs. I know, I just pulled the knife out of the frame. <laughs> but, um, okay. Another thing I also liked about it is how they textured the entire grip. If you look at that, you can see the, the little grooves, the bumps all the way around. I love that. That gives your hand just a perfect grip on this. Um, so my thoughts on this. Um, $30, that's, that's nothing, that, that's a great value, um, I, I, in my opinion, this is, a uh, SOG's copy of a very good, um, Spyderco knife, uh, the one in particular that I'm thinking of, and then my, uh, computer refresh here for a second, there we go, is... The Spyderco Endura 4, the one that's um, half serrated, and tell me there's not, you know, somewhat of a similarity in there. I mean, even the the handle kind of looks familiar, or familiar, similar, I should say. Okay. So. All right, YouTube. Um, if you have any questions or comments, um, please hit me up. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, if you'd like to see anything particular on any one of my knives or guns or whatever, I'll come back and I'll do another video or I'll just simply ask you your question. If you'd like to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more gun, knife, shooting, ammo, accessory, demonstration, and um, whatever other weird videos I put up, that'd be cool. If not, thanks for watching and have a nice day.